Okay, guys, this is uh, it's my diode. You, you like it? So, um, what is a diode and how does it how does it work? Right? Uh, it's a semiconductor inside this little glass bubble, and you got some connections here, right? Uh, unlike a transistor, which has two semiconductor junctions, a diode or an LED is just a simple logic gate. You just have uh, one part of your semiconductor is is an N type and the other is a P type. What that means is that one is doped with an electron donor and the other is doped with an electron receptor different sides of the with the poly scale or something right uh, electronegativity um when we apply a voltage across the junctions we're, we're pumping more electrons into the donor and we're taking away more electrons from the receptor and causing um electrons to jump the gap and when it happens uh it produces light now, conversely, if we put light into the diode, we are bringing, uh, um, you know, that's just fucking confusing. We're making more holes? No, that, that, whatever. We're, we're creating this potential, and I'm not going to get into that because it just, I can't describe that science in any way that makes sense. Um, you know, unless we apply positronic logic here, but we're making more holes with the light and we're creating electrons here and it brings out a potential voltage across here and this can act as like a solar photovoltaic uh, cell in kind of reverse. Um, that's all this, this junction, uh, what we know it does. So... Let's suppose for a moment here that instead of an electrical current, we just simply had, you know, a, a charge, um, kind of, kind of the way they, they you know, this, uh, this positive negative thing here, um, not necessarily a, a bimetal junction in terms of a chemical or thermal reaction, but uh, connection to an electron donor and an electron receptor that were naturally at a different potential than the ground state of the junction. What uh, what happens in this in this condition? Um, Well, let's go against our, our logic here with the, you know, the directionality of the, of the diode in terms of, uh, electronics, because when we force a current to go through its unidirection, this can only really flow in one way. But as we see, when we apply light to the diode, it can flow in the other direction. Um, and and so let's let's reverse this. Let's let's have a positive here and a negative here of a greater magnitude than the natural ground state, right? So again, we have a condition where we're pumping electrons into the electron donor and we're pumping electrons out of the electron receptor, causing electrons to jump the gap and produce light.
with uh zero electrical power. Does everybody understand how this can be possible? Um, we're not putting energy in. We're simply creating the circumstance that happens when we do put energy in. It's exactly the same. Okay. And the lights are still lit. Zero power. All right. Zero input, there's no battery, there's no plug. We're simply instigating the ionic flow. All right. And that's, that's how we're doing this.